All right, well, the die turned out so well that I'm going to go straight on and, and make another print right now. And this next one is called an iPhone quick release Targus by Thingiverse user B. Schuler. And I'll show you the uh, Thingiverse page right here. And I actually uh, also made one of these last night, and it has also left the house already. So I'm going to make another one. In fact, I'll make a few because uh, it worked really well for my iPhone to hold it on the desk uh, to record videos or uh, keep the uh, phone somewhere on the desk. So it's supposed to it's supposed to fit in a tripod. Quick release. This is my tripod here, but the uh, head that I have is a different size than the Targus. Uh, this is an Arca Swiss standard plate. So I may design one, uh, and I did find a couple of Arca Swiss um, plates on Thingiverse that I'll take a look at as well. Uh, so I'll show you the uh, Thingiverse page, and then we'll set up a print. All right, this is what we'll be printing. And uh, thanks again to uh, creator B. Schuler for the iPhone quick release Targus. I may have shown you the wrong file before. I accidentally printed the wrong iPhone uh, part. Uh, I had other things on the card with names with iPhone in the file names. This one is the iPhone quick release Targus, and I'll be starting this one again now. All right. Now I'll have to wait a few minutes for the, the heat back up. This is the beginning of the iPhone Targus mount. Get it closer. Don't know how well you can see that. It's black filament using the right hand side extruder only. You can see that the fan is on just for the right hand extruder. Of course the uh, build process happens from the bottom up. So there's the rectangular outline of the base, or I guess it's a square. And it'll build up layers from there. I'm trying to find a way to get some light in there for you. Looks like the older Thingomatics were a lot easier to video. They had a um, better sight and more light down to the print bed. There we go. Okay, our iPhone mount is 45% complete. You can see it's building up like a pyramid there. And soon it'll start making the, um, the two top pieces, the kind of the tongs that hold the phone. pretty smooth. You can see the texture of the individual layers, but it's pretty fine. And this is at the, the default layer height. There we go. There's the beginning of the two side arms that hold the phone.
right, this will be done in just a couple of minutes, and I'll pop it off and show it to you. And there we have it. Let's pop that off and take a look. It's on there pretty good. Try a little persuasion. I ripped the tape. Let's patch that up. That's alright. So this is supposed to fit in the quick release clamp of the tripod. Uh, I'll show you in my case the uh, this is just too small. But it works great as a desk stand for your phone. The phone slots right here, and uh, it's a perfect fit without a case. You can't have a case on the phone, it won't fit with a case. I'm sorry, my tripod. The bevel's correct, it's just too small. Anyway, there's our iPhone mount and our die on our new MakeaBot. More to come. Thanks for watching. Well, as promised, here's the finished uh, finished piece with the iPhone mounted on top. I wasn't sure how to show it to you since I'm using the iPhone to make the video, so we're looking in the bathroom mirror. There's the mirror. And I realize it's black on black, and maybe I'll print another one in a different color. Uh, but this one um, is the second one that I've made. came out exactly the same as the first. It's a really nice fit on the phone. Uh, very secure, very stable. Um, I would even trust to use it upside down. I uh, wouldn't uh, jump around with it that way, but it's pretty good. And uh, so uh, compliments to B. Schuler, the designer. And uh, thanks for putting it up on Thingiverse. And I'll be making a few more, and I'll probably hand it out to some friends. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.